Hey guys, how's it going? Kriparian here. So today we're going to talk about Gale Wing. That's the newest hero in the last patch. Uh, if you're wondering how it works, it's pretty simple. When you use the hero power, you can only use it when you don't have like a quest active, kind of like a flight path active. So there's the, the one turn later quest, which is your leftmost minion gets two attacks. That happens at the start of the turn after you use this. So not for the next combat, just so we're clear. Then there's a three turn quest where you discover a card of your tavern tier. Pretty cool. And then there's the five turn quest where you level up your tavern for zero. It's five turns later, right? So there's different ways where, where you can play this hero. Uh, initially, I thought I would get the level up one first and then level like crazy. Usually take a lot of damage, but get the tavern five on eight gold, which is ridiculous. And Honestly, it's pretty fun to play that way, but it's not very consistent because uh, it's pretty hard to stabilize. You guys know Tavern 5, sometimes you get like a Light Fang, a Mithrax, a Baron, a Brand. You sometimes you get it right away and you're good. But on average, there's some misses there, and on 8 gold, you don't have a lot to work with. So you usually, usually start a pretty high roll game with very low health. So it's pretty RNG to make that work. Uh, now... I later learned that um, it's a pretty good strategy to do the three gold hero power, which what you do is the three gold, uh, sorry, the, the three turn uh, hero power works if you have a token start. So if you have like the Selemental, what you do is you buy the Selemental, you do the, th the turn three power, then you level, and then on turn three, you level again. That's where you want the token because on five gold to level again, you have to sell something. You shouldn't do that if you only have one card to sell. You don't want an empty board level to tavern three. Then you get discover three, then you have six gold to buy two more, Hopefully there's strong twos or threes, and you can kind of stabilize from that. And then you do the five gold level up, uh, so the, the five turn level up thing, which will usually take you from five to six. So that's a pretty decent way to play the hero. Now there is another another way to play the hero that has been discovered relatively recently, and that is to open up with the one turn quest to just get plus two attack on your guy. And you might think, well, that kind of sucks. It doesn't really suck because you actually end up winning your second round pretty often. Then you end up winning your third round pretty often. And if you level conservatively, you're not going to lose too many games and can level up to four by turn six, which will make it so if you follow up the turn, the, the one turn quest with the five turn quest, you can go from four to five for free, which is not like a high roll way, but it's a very consistent way of playing this hero. So that's the story. And I want to give you guys uh, my first basically attempt of using this strategy. Hope you guys enjoy it, and we'll see you next time. All right, let's go again. OP hero, am I right? A Mega Gamba to see if I can win a Pee Royale. Well, the more I don't play it when the event happens, the more my chance becomes zero. Ready to get started? Uh, also, the Canadian server never has any people on it. The last time I tried to play, it just hovered between 16 and 20 people for half an hour, and then I gave up. It's not too bad to play on some of the others. Like, I think I can play on, like, Washington or something. It's pretty alright. But... You're good at this. Not, uh, not ideal, in any case. Mods Gamba? Mods Gamba? Are the mods not gambing? Oh my god. I'm gonna have to cut their pay, dude. Imagine Lich King losing there. She no need to imagine it, just fucking happened. Yeah, the big taunt does really well at this point. Can I please this hero? 
fuck does that mean? Camera looks a little jittery. Oh yeah, maybe. Doesn't? Okay, I'm gonna load up my stream. Doesn't the fucking add-on allow you guys to hover over the hero power to see what it does? Like, on the stream itself? Let me see. It does. Okay, yeah. So, do that. Okay, cool. Not on mobile. Okay, so this is the most uh, powerful hero in the game now. Uh, it's a little bit ahead of Mutanus. Uh, it's three hero powers. Uh, it's like going on a quest. You can do a one turn quest, one at the two attack. Next turn, and one turn later on the leftmost minion. You can go on a three turn quest to discover a minion of your tavern tier, or you can go on a five turn quest to get a free tavern up. So, I did the plus two attack on turn one, so I could not have to hyper level and then get the four to five for free. The one turn quest be plus two plus one? Uh, no, because this hero clearly does not need to be stronger. <laughs> this hero is uh, just fine, uh, if not broken. You like to play three turn into five to level from five to six? Yeah, but that's that's like pretty YOLO as well. I'd like there, but I uh, have to do it this way. We need to get the good free level. Last time I played Daryl, yeah, it's been some time. Daryl, Daryl really fell off. Uh, you basically have to play mid-range builds and settle for like fourth to play Daryl at all, which uh, is pretty shit experience in my in my book. I mean, that's not too bad, like, I'm getting it for sub-10, and we're, we're going to, to Tavern 5 for free here. We just, uh, we gotta make this work, and we don't have a lot of time to, is the problem. Got mechs, these mechs kinda suck. Could throw. No Murlocs or Elementals or Beasts. Wow. Right. Hey, watch out. I'm baking here. Alright. For real, like, like I know you might think I'm joking, but this is a tactical throw. Uh, because Cindergosa usually is heavily invested in low tavern tier minions. Uh, so we should take a loss, but it shouldn't be too bad. But if we take that loss, and then we get like a Bran, we're suddenly looking real good. It's a, it's a tactical loss. It's not a, it's not a loss. Okay, and it's not even Copium, because I called it. Okay. Yes, this is um, this is the uh, the cost of tactics. Yes, tactics. Great, that's uh, exactly what I was going for. Any defeat that doesn't destroy you makes you strong. Oh, actually, that guy bailed early. Oh well, no! This, this make me wow, Tavern Six, dude. Tavern Six. Going straight to fucking Twitter right here, dude. What the fuck? Don't worry, I have enough time to tweet this. We're good. Buck Bob. Buck Fob. Okay. I 
Okay, I think I can beat that. like uh not too bad i guess nice light fang yeah it's uh it's a work Don't in progress okay we're, we're working you. on it i mean it's only turn nine it really isn't too bad does get a good bit of uh, attack on this though, unfortunately. There you go, almost killed him. Okay, I guess I'll replace the one mech that I have. That's pretty good. Nineteen health. I don't know. I'm not gonna die with this. Might I, mean, I might lose. But Keep up the losing and dying are different. Why does he have a, a big? Mine's bigger. Okay, mine's bigger. I saw the size. I measured them up. Mine's bigger. So whatever. See? I told you. I have the bigger guy. Nice work out there. Keep up the pressure. Go ahead and hire one of these recruits. Yeah, that's that's gonna be worth it there. <laughs> the Divine Shield Dragon's really good, but um my children, I give you my blood. Okay. Three Caligos so far. Alright, dude, you're not supposed to count those, okay? It's depressing when you do, alright? That's a pretty juicy snipe right there. That one a little less so. Nice work, 
work out there. Keep up the pressure. Precisely what I was going for. Now with two of those, that would be about the same as a light fang. So I guess I'll buy it and still try to triple. I wouldn't, because if it's the same, I wouldn't want to sell it, right? It ain't worth it. It's it's worth to, to take it. Yeah, it is. Where blood gem? The holy fuck! I thought it crashed. The Charlie. It's not worth four rolls, considering I'm only going for those triples, and I don't know what I'd play when I do get the triple. I think it is worth it. Oh, this guy's gonna have a bad time here. Well, 12 light fangs. Uh, yep. Probably... Probably there's not gonna be more... Yeah, I think we just buff attack at this point. I mean, the Light Fangs aren't exactly support units anymore. They're gonna be 16-16 minions. It's not really a support. It's been fun. It's time to go, bro. It's time to go. Oh, that guy looks really strong, actually. Killed the cat. Nice work out there. Keep up the oh, I just realized I hit that guy for 44. <laughs> just, just get more health, bro. Just get more health. I think I'll just continue to do nothing. Because these, these are not really support units, right? Not really. They can fight. This is going to come in super handy. Well, if I triple one of these and then triple one of these, I can actually double up on these stats, making it like a, a 9300 or something next turn. And honestly, that isn't so bad. Like, if we, if we want to go into specifics... Like, I might lose here, because he's playing... He looks like he has, like, a full-on dragon build. I might lose. If I lose and don't die and pull that off, that'll work. That's going to beat dragons. Oh, that's it? Yeah, we're all right, actually. Oh, well. I mean, it's a pretty good dragon build, but it's, you know. Oh, wow, we actually tied? Hold up. What? Oh, really? Uh, I got crushed on the breakpoints, I guess. Come on, triple me, man. Triple me. Triple me. T-ripple. Triple. Fuck. Oh, I don't actually have a pirate. Um, 
Sacred ground. Fight fate or fortune. A Gamagai, be my guide. Let's see okay. if you can stay on. Well, it happened. I told you'd be good. Wow. That was really bad. Fuck. I think I'm gonna lose. These are terrible attacks. Are you serious right now? Wow. Double golden calicos. Holy fuck. Okay. Yeah, of course I get the light fang there. Um, I guess, no more locks, I guess I need, like, a ghoul. Go ahead and hire one of these. Cool, nice. Now, that is not so good here. Light Fang goes? Oh, I guess you're right. It's not the the bones lost to the Alright. Those are really big. And these are bad attacks. Yeah, I'll lose. It's about 50. I can't believe I lost with that build, but yeah, double golden Calic Ghost Nadina. I mean, I've only done that like a couple of times ever. Far from 50. Oh, 50 to die. 52 or whatever it was to die. I think if the Amalgadon got poison, it didn't even need Divine Shield because it's useless from the glyph. If the if the Amalgadon got poison, that would have worked out okay. <laughs> 